Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K22 video. And in today's video, we are going to be recreating Trailblazer Zone Lamarcus Aldridge. So, uh, we're going with the Portland version of Lamarcus Aldridge, which, you know, he was a post scoring nightmare down low. Uh, he's bounced around to a couple of teams now. I believe he played for. Uh, from Portland, I think he went to San Antonio, and then from San Antonio, he's been to, uh, who, who does he play for now? Brooklyn, I think, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he went somewhere, but I, I could have sworn he went somewhere before that, but either way, man, uh, he's 6'11", 240, uh, the stats that we, uh, were looking for were, uh, 77 layup, 96 close shot, 92 post hook, 94 post control, 90 post fade, 96 mid-range and 83, 86 free throw. He has an 83 offensive re rebound, uh, 92 defensive rebound, 79 interior, 37 perimeter, 37 lateral, 67 block, a 57 steal. And then his physical attributes are a 43 speed, a 40 acceleration, a 62 strength, and an 82 vert. So, uh, excuse me, 62 vert and 82 strength. Uh and his badge count was uh, 14 into finishing, 9 into shooting, 3 into playmaking, and 6 defensively. So, uh, you know, he he has a decent, you know, layout of badges. I wouldn't say they're the greatest. But um, I think his attributes kind of make up for his lack of, like, shooting badges. Because he does have, like, a 96 mid-range and an 83. You know, that's kind of ridiculous. Uh we aren't gonna get <laughs> we aren't gonna get close to that, but we are gonna be able to shoot on this build uh, the way I tailored this build. Uh, but I do want it to mimic and play sort of like uh, Lamarcus Aldridge being able to shoot uh, on the inside and out, and to be able to step out and hit a three as well. So for that, we're gonna go with the 50-50 pie chart with 50 blue, 50 green, and then for the physical pie chart, we're going to be selecting the. Uh, pink and uh blue pie chart which is this one which is going to be vertical and strength since he doesn't have a lot of speed anyway now just to go back really quickly you can go with the balance pie chart if you want to go with the balance pie chart you can pick that one but i kind of want him to have that extra strength just because i want to be able to bully people down low with the drop steps and stuff like that as well too so that's the main reason why i'm going with that uh, here we're going to max out the close shot. We're going to max out the layup and then we're just going to max out the post hook. We're not going to touch anything else over here. Uh, and then for the shooting, we're going to max everything out on the shooting. And then we're going to put the post fade to an 86, giving us that 92. Actually, no, yeah, no, we're going to put it up to an 86 yeah, Cause we're going to have one left over, uh, for the playmaker. We're going to just max out the pass accuracy and max out the ball handle. Like that, we aren't going to touch anything. I mean, you can bring this down some if you want to a 60 just to give him, you know, uh, five and save one point over, I guess, if you want. And then we'll take this one down as well to save that one point. Maybe we'll get to put this somewhere, but I doubt it because I only had one point left over. Uh, and then here we're going to go with 69 interior. We're going to go with the 57 steel. Uh, we're going to go with a 67 block. And then we're going to max out his offensive rebound at 67. And we're going to max out his defensive rebound at 75. So, again, like I said, that's going to leave us with two points over. And we're not going to be able to do anything. We're not going to be able to get any points with these two points. So, it doesn't really matter where you put it. You can put it into shooting. It's not going to give you anything. You can put it into finishing. It's not going to give you anything. So, it doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm just going to put it on the post fade just because. Uh, plus my ball handle is going to go down anyway, so it doesn't really make sense to put it on the ball handle because when we change the height and stuff of this build, it's going to go down anyway. So bam, you're looking at a count of 16 finishing, 22 shooting, five playmaking and seven defensive, which is way more than his original 14 finishing, nine shooting, three playmaking and six defensive kind of makes this build actually viable, uh, online and whatnot. Now, obviously six eleven, so we got to go up in that height gonna hurt your your stats a little bit you might be able to you know tailor this and be 610 if you want but if you want to play true to his build of being 611 uh you can make a 611 but i know a lot of you guys will make 610 players and stuff like that so i'll show you what it looks like at 610 uh we're gonna go up in the weight to 242 or you could leave it at 240 
Um, when you go six eleven, I would go uh two forty two default. But if you're going six ten, you can always play with this and maybe drop the weight down some or whatever like that. I feel like as long as you're above that seventy strength threshold. You're going to be really, really good because you're going to be able to dominate people or whatever like that. You're going to be able to really, you know, put in that work. But I'm going to go with the 611 version. And then uh, Wingspan, I left the Wingspan default because I feel like you kind of want that 69 three ball. That 69 three ball versus a, a 66, you know, people are going to tell you it doesn't matter. But trust me, it will matter. And you having that 69 is going to help more often than not or whatever like that. I mean, you might can go one tick up just so you can get that um 70 block or whatever, reaching that threshold of a 70 block. But me personally, I would just leave the wingspan default. And then obviously, you can choose either between post scoring and spot up uh, take. But I'm going to go with post scoring because it is LaMarcus Aldridge and he gets most of his chicken down low. Uh, and then also... You know, you get the name Paint Defender. So when people think of Paint Defender, they're thinking, oh, you're pure red or, you know, you're a mixture of like red and blue or something like that. They're, they're thinking that. So they're not even going to realize that, yo, you're going to have 22 shooting badges on this build. So you're really going to be able to shoot lights out. So let's just go through his badges really quickly. For the defensive side of things, he has three badges for those six points. He has Gold Hustler. He has silver box, and then he has bronze brick wall, leaving us with one point over. Uh, to be honest, you can put these points, this one point anywhere. You can put it on silver brick wall, make him more of a menace when setting those screens and backing people down, or when people back you down, I should say. Or you could put that one bronze badge on like rebound chaser, because I just feel like there's pointless in you having silver box if you're not gonna really be trying to bring down boards as well too. But you're also gonna have to remember. You know, uh, you don't have the greatest rebounding attributes and you are a power four, but I feel like you can't run a big man build without rebound chaser and rim protector. I feel like those are two builds that two badges that you need to have. And if you aren't going to have rim protector, then you better have rebound chaser helping on the boards. And if you're not going to be helping on the boards, then you need to be banging down low on defense. So either one of these two, you can't go wrong with either one of these badges. I'm going to go a rebound chaser because I feel like the more possessions we have, it matters more uh, for the playmaking badges. He only has two playmaking badges, uh, three points into that. He has silver glue hands, which will give him. And then he also has bronze break starter. You know, Lamar Kitchell just throwing that ball down the court or whatever. So I feel like with this build, there's two different ways you can go with this build, right? Really three different ways. You can play around and get quick first step in something else. You know, maybe an unpluckable or something like that, right? That's one way you could do it. The second way you could do it is you could just put it all into bullet pass and be a real good playmaker out of the post, right? Or what you can do is give him glue hands and just focus on just being a good catch and shoot type of dude or pick and pop type of role. You're going to get those good catches with that gold glue hands, right? Or ultimately what i would do is put one on bronze bullet passer and then one putting one point onto post playmaker initially making you a really good really good post playmaker you know what i'm saying because now not only will you be able to pass out of the post and they get a boost like dimer off of that but when you do get the rebound off those box outs and you pass out they're going to be getting a boost for when they take that next shot or whatever so this is probably the layout that i would go with either this or this like here so uh, it's up to you to choose. I feel like the more badges, the better. So I'm just going to go with this uh, layout right here. You know? Uh, and then now we'll make our way to his shooting badges. He only has three gold shooting badges, which is gold catch and shoot, uh, gold difficult shots, and then he has gold set shooter. Now, I'm not mad at those badges at all, but I just feel like uh, nobody's going to really warrant using set shooters. So you can get, a, you can get rid of that badge. And now we have six points to pretty much put on anything we want. Uh, if it's my build and I'm running this build, this is what I would be running. Running blinders, sniper, uh, bronze corner specialist, a bronze dead eye, uh, bronze lucky seven, a bronze volume shooter of some sort and then like maybe a silver circus threes for when I catch the ball and they make me shoot a moving shot or something like that. Uh, this right here is what I would use. 
Another lineup to use would be having, like, you know, gold hot zone hunter being that you do have a low three ball and a 69 three ball. You know, your your shot might not be all there, you know, so you might want to, you know, think about playing around with that as well as a uh, slippery off ball as well. But this right here is what I would be running on this build. After showing you what he was running, of course, which is gold catch, gold difficult shot, and gold set shooter. And then finally, for the finishing badges, he has gold drop stepper, gold post spin, and then gold putback boss, right? He has silver grace under pressure, silver teardropper, and then he has bronze lob city finisher. Those are the badges that LaMarcus Soldiers has on his build. Uh, me, personally, I would just change around some of these uh, badges or whatever. For example, uh, Lob City Finisher, I would leave on bronze. Putback Boss, I would bring down to bronze. Um, drop Stepper on gold is not bad. Neither is Silver Grace Under Pressure, gold post spin. Teardropper, I don't know if I'm running that on silver. I'm probably taking that badge off, if I'm being honest. I'm putting on hook specialist and then I'm putting on fast twitch and you know depending on how good you are or your play style I would bring fast twitch down and maybe put hall of fame hook specialist because uh, you do have a high post hook but this right here is most likely what I would be running on this build this has been the Portland Trailblazers version of the Lamarcus Aldridge build uh, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K22 content and NBA player builds. It's been Make, Your, Make America Lit. I'm out. Peace.